The command line is useful for both viewing and manipulating text files. Manipulation means editing text. For example, replacing words in text files, or redirecting text, such as appending text from the command line to the end of a file. As we'll see in a future tutorial, this is useful for creating scripts, text files containing one or more commands that are run consecutively. This lets you automate analyses, which can save you countless hours. Let's begin with viewing text files. Create a text file and spell out the numbers 1 through 15, one number per row. Save the text file as myfile.txt. Then navigate to the directory containing the file. To print the contents of the file, use the cat command, short for concatenate. This touches on the concept of streams, or the flow of information to and from the command line. When you type commands and press enter, the flow of those commands into the Unix kernel is called STDIN, or standard input. The resulting output is called STDOUT, or standard output. If the command terminates with an error, the output is printed into a separate stream called STDERR, or standard error. Later, we will use the streams and a technique called redirection to speed up our text editing and make it more flexible. Let's go back to our text file. The cat command is useful for smaller text files, but sometimes we don't want to print everything. Sometimes we want to just check a few lines to get an idea of what's in the file. You can do this with the head and tail commands. If you type head and then the file name, by default, it will return the first 10 lines of the file. You can change the number of lines displayed with an option. Type head, then a dash, and the number of lines you wish to display. What happens if you type head-5, head-15, head-20? The tail command is similar in that it displays the last lines of the file. The usage and options are identical to head. Experiment with displaying different amounts of lines from the end of the file. This is useful when examining, for example, the cluster summary files from FreeSurfer. The first 40 lines or so is header information you may not care about. Instead of opening the file and navigating to the end, an easier way is to use the command such as tail-5, followed by the name of the file. If you want to know how many lines there are in a file, type wc with the dash l option. What if we want to search a text file for a specific piece of text, also known as a string? Type less myfile.txt, which opens up a paging window. Typing a forward slash enables search mode. For example, type forward slash and then the word three, which will highlight and jump to the word three. You can also find parts of strings, such as teen. If you press N, it jumps to the next instance of that string. If you hold shift and press N, it jumps to the previous instance of that string. To exit the paging window, press Q. The less command is useful for reading the help files appended to the commands in AFNI and FSL. If you just type the name of the command, the help for that command is output by default. However, these help files are usually too big to look at as one big chunk of text. You may think you can get around this by typing less and then the name of the command, for example, 3ddconvolve, but that doesn't return anything. We can solve this by redirecting the help output into the less command by using a pipe, which is found by holding shift and typing a backslash. If you type 3D deconvolve pipe less, all of the help text is processed by the less command instead of being dumped to standard out. You can then page through the help file easily. Another way to redirect output is through the greater than symbol. If you type echo 16 greater than temp.txt 
the word 16 goes into the file temp.txt instead of being written to the command line. Notice that it creates the file temp.txt even if it doesn't exist. However, if we try that again with another string, let's say echo 17 greater than temp.txt, it will overwrite the file with whatever we printed to standard output. If you want to append standard output to the end of a file without overwriting the other data in the file, use two greater than signs. For example, type echo 18 two greater than signs temp.txt. If you type cat temp.txt, you will see both 17 and 18. Redirection is a powerful tool for manipulating text and creating new text files. To reinforce what we've learned, try the following exercises. First, use cat to string together both the my file and temp.txt files, and redirect the output to create a new file. Print the contents of the new file to standard output. Second, if you already have AFNI installed on your system, use less on the command 3dcalc to find strings matching example. Now try it using the less command with an option to ignore whether the letters in the string are uppercase or lowercase. Here's a hint. To find this option, search for the string case in the man file for less. One last exercise. There is a command called sort, which will sort text numerically or alphabetically. What happens when you use myfile.txt as an argument for sort? What about typing this command, cat myfile.txt pipe sort? In your own words, explain the difference between the two methods. In the next video, we'll learn about the Unix path variables, which allow us to use software packages such as AFNI and FSL. See you soon.